All right, Evan Denser, 25, single, no Sergeant kid. Maynard, why don't we skip the formalities? All right, Mr. Denser, you're here as the lead suspect in the murder of Mr. Johnson. Bull, we both know who did that. Hey, son, I don't think you know how serious this is. I know it is. So why don't you tell me what you were doing hanging around at Mr. Johnson's garage the night before he died? All right, look, I'm going to be asking the questions from now on, all right? According to your GPS, you've been following Mr. Johnson for the last few weeks. Care to elaborate? Because... January 12th. Mr. Johnson's leaving room 58, home of an unidentified female, about 310. Further investigations are required. All right, look, let's be adults about this. You answer one of my questions, I'll answer one of yours. Okay. Okay. I was hired by Mrs. Johnson in order to tail him to see if he was cheating on her. Were you trying to find evidence or were you trying to silence Mr. Wait Johnson? Wait a second, buddy. I get to ask a question. Why were you hanging around his garage the night before he died? Uh, because. January 15th. After some research, the woman that Mr. Johnson's hanging out with is named Emily. Now, Mr. Johnson is currently cleaning his Ford Fiesta at his garage at about 7.34 p.m. Mr. Johnson usually leaves his garage at 7.30 p.m. Is this an abnormality? Or does this mean he's waiting for someone? Mr. Johnson is a close friend of my wife and I. But he is a close friend of your wife's. All right, look, Bob. If you're just a PI, then why were you found holding the murder weapon? After you left the estate. January 15th. The man that entered the garage has left. I'm gonna sign him, Mr. Johnson. Time is around 8 p.m. Hello, this is Evan Denser. How can I help you? Mr. Denser, do you do you know where my husband is at? Mrs. Johnson, I'm actually standing outside of his garage right now, or sitting outside of his garage. He hasn't left work yet. No, ma'am. Let me go see what the problem is. Hey, Daniel. I need your help. Looks like this isn't going anywhere. I know you killed Mr. Johnson. See, Mr. Denser, that's where you're wrong. In all honesty, all the evidence points to you killing Mr. Johnson. And I'm gonna make you go away for a long time. Sergeant yeah. Maynard. Yes? You're under arrest for the murder of Mr. Johnson. What? Please, Mr. Denser, please. On what grounds? There must be some mistake here, Captain. The evidence that Mr. Denser has provided to me, and the fact that you've been queuing for the audio to be cut on the camera, seems to state the contrary. <laughs> what evidence? Well, you see... January 12th. Mr. Johnson's leaving room 58, home of an unidentified female, about 3.10 p.m. Further investigations are planned. January 12th, 3.15 p.m. 
unidentified female husband or brother is showing up. Can you get close, Mr. Johnson? Hey, Daniel. Ranger, help. How can I help you, Mr. Jensen? I think one of your men just killed my suspect. Come on, Captain. Who are you going to believe? Me or this kid? This kid has helped me more than you could possibly imagine. Take him away. I'm sorry you had to go through the interrogation. No, I appreciate it. I should never have touched that knife. So how bad are you going to get yelled at by your client? Oh, God, I forgot to tell her. 